Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles, back again for another review. This time it's the Bandai Star Wars movie realization, Kenreichi Ashiguru Snowtrooper. Um, and uh, here is the packaging. Um, it's the standard sort of packaging you get within this series, and I did order two from Nippon Yasan, I think it's called. Um, my normal place for these is uh, a Mia Mi, um, or Big Bad Toy Store, but um, this one being a Tamashi exclusive, a Mia Mi didn't have it. And luckily, uh, Nippon Yasin did, and they sent uh, these two out uh, in quick time. So I'm, I'm definitely impressed with um, their service. Um, but as you can see, same sort of style there, and the artwork on the back. Uh, so it's similar to the others. If you've got the others, uh, you'll know what to, to expect. Uh, but uh, these figures, I have to say, um, are absolutely amazing. Now Bandai do take their time in uh, releasing these. I think the last one. Uh, was probably earlier this year or late last year and I think it was the spear the spear trooper the spearman um, or the archer I can't remember which um, but uh, these guys um, I think might be the only release they're doing this year because 3PO is not coming out until next year um, and so they do take their time but um, of course I think for this set at least it is well worth the wait um, it doesn't come with uh, as many hands um, as the others, uh, as the other troopers do, uh, but uh, this E-Web cannon uh, is definitely uh, something I'd prefer rather than more hands. Uh, but uh, I'll give you guys a closer look uh, in a second. Hold on. All right, so here's the cannon up close, and I have to say the design of this thing is just absolutely fantastic. I love the way they've done this. It does come uh, separated into one, two, three, four, five separate pieces, so you get the the cannon part at the top there, you get this center circular part uh, on which you have to clip the three legs um, and then you just join that clip to the underneath of the cannon there that uh, does have some articulation so you can move it um, up and down you just need to be a bit careful where you put your hands, I don't want to uh, snap anything off uh, luckily uh, these handles here they do articulate so they're on little uh, ball joints um, in that uh, little gap there so they do move around and you will need to move them around uh, to put them into the hands so I'm glad that they uh, made them flexible like that and not uh, rigid um, otherwise I'm sure that uh, someone would probably snap them right off um, now the paint application is a beautiful sort of silver um, that's then got this sort of rust uh, brush effect painted on it and you sort of see that um, reflecting off uh, at various angles and it's on all the silver services um, so you get um, you get it on the backpack as well for the trooper uh, but on all of these uh, surfaces here you can, can sort of see it reflecting off the light there um, I don't think any of these parts move at all um, so don't try and do that and uh, break something I'm not sure if uh, this bit moves sometimes on the other uh, rifles this it moves I can't remember if the instructions said that moved or not so I'm not gonna bother trying but, but um, just the level of detail on on how they've designed this thing is just beautiful I love the uh, the little feet with the little spiky tips there um, and it sits uh, perfectly stable on the uh, on a flat surface um, and it can rotate obviously um, and then move up and down so you can angle it as you see fit um, it is a bit of a pain to get the hands in place um, so as you can see I've already got uh, the hands in place there and I do recommend using uh, some hot water or um, I don't tend to, to use um, the, the hair dryer I just tend to boil some water and put the hands straight into some hot water for, for five seconds or so and it softens them up really nicely um, and then you can put weapons and, and so on and so sliding in the sword or the um, uh, these uh, trigger points um, is uh, is fine once you do that. Uh, the figure itself, um, I'll uh, might give you a close up here. Most of the parts I think are, are reused from from some of the other figures, apart from the face mask. So you can take the face mask off. Uh, it comes in the packaging with his uh, cowl, and you just sort of uh, shove these two tips. Um, on the edge there, you can sort of have it stuck in place like so or you can pull it off and have him unmasked like that and I think that is a unique 
uh, sculpt for the head mask. Um, I don't think uh, any of the other figures have anything similar to that, so that's a bit of a, a nice variation at least. And the paint app isn't too bad. Uh, just be careful with these areas at the back. Um, one of mine did break off on the, uh, or at least come loose on the Stormtrooper that I've glued back, so I'm um, just be careful there. Um, the other parts, I think um, the skirt areas here um, on the Karma have been taken from the Royal Guard. I'm just looking at the Royal Guard on my shelf there. And yes, so these are just the repainted versions of the, the Royal Guard. And all of these pieces here you've seen before on the various Stormtroopers, I think. Although this one does have um, some extra pouches and so on. And again, the nice little texturing on that and, and sort of weathering paint effect is, is nice. Uh, there's the weathered paint application on the backpack there, which is nice. Um, but everything else you've pretty much seen. I think uh, yeah, probably the only other difference is this part at the front, um, which again is nicely detailed. So I like the the red highlights there. Um, I don't actually have uh, the, the real snow trooper um, in front of me at the moment to see if all these red marks are aligned with that, but um, overall the effect is pretty good and the purple highlighting in the strings and the green here sort of set it off and, and get a bit of variation in instead of all the sort of grey uh, white uh, and sort of you know dirty yellow type uh, weathering on this figure so everything else you pretty much have seen before articulation wise I'm not going to bother going through all of that uh, you've seen it all before um, it sort of has the double jointed elbows rotation in the waist and so on, bit of ab crunch and so on, uh, double jointed knees. Uh, the ankles are still a pain in the ass to articulate and get flat on the ground so you really need to uh, rotate the, the ball joint. It's not like some of their other figures that are that have a really easy to, to utilize um, ankle rocker. Um, I did snap one of my first stormtroopers uh, a few years ago trying to articulate it but uh, so I'm a bit more careful now um, so just be aware of that. Um, but other than that, um, I think uh, that's pretty much it. Um, the neck piece um, does hinder the articulation a little bit. It doesn't uh, have that sort of forward and back motion that I'm sure the other Stormtroopers have. And it doesn't have too much of a tilt either. Um, but um, either way, I think uh, it can be in that pose where it's pointing that sword forward. And you can sort of ankle, uh, angle the wrists down a little bit to get that sort of um, forward attack pose um, but of course most people will probably have it displayed uh, using the e-web and I think uh, it was a a bit tricky just getting his feet splayed out like that um, and getting the feet angled so that at least they're pretty much flat on the ground so that takes a bit of futzing around but once you have his knees bent um, and legs splayed like that um, just make sure as it, again as I was saying heat up the hands and get it into the the slots there um, and he looks pretty much uh, like you would expect for this series um, shooting that cannon and I think uh, it looks fantastic I'm glad I bought two um, just to have one uh, holding that cannon and one without it um, and without the face cowl um, the cowl itself as you can see there pretty nice details if I can actually focus um, so it's good to have both options uh, with with or without um, and I think they've done a, a great job to sort of match what they had in the, the concept art. So um, overall, I think uh, if you're into this series, uh, this is right up there with uh, the best of them. And uh, I'm definitely glad uh, they included the, the cannon in, in the set. Um, I think 3PO is the next character that they've got coming out. And I do have that pre-ordered from Ami Ami. Um, so I think that comes out in March next year. Um, hopefully... Uh, that stays on time and uh, I'm really hoping they announce some of the other ones like the uh, the Gamorrean Guard or even IG-88 because uh, that uh, any sort of new mold in this series is is worth the wait for me um, so hopefully you like that quick look at this new um, Kenrichi uh, Snow Trooper I'm not sure if I mentioned if uh, I, I did google what Kenrichi means and I think it means um some cold regions in the north or something like that which um is pretty appropriate for uh, the snow trooper so um, it's good that uh, they're thinking about those things when they give them their Japanese names but um, on that hopefully uh, you do like that uh, quick look at these figures and, and can give the video a like 
um, and subscribe to the channel as well. Um, I do have a few more things coming up in uh, the next uh, month or so. So hopefully you can subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.